morning everyone. Today we'll be talking about variation and we're going to focus on the causes and then the two main types of variation which is continuous and discontinuous. So let's start off by understanding what is variation. So the simplest definition of variation is the difference in characteristics. Now these characteristics can be visible, which is physical, or um, they can uh, not be visible, which is an uh, example would be in your genes. Right? So you can have genetic variation as well. So let's talk about causes of variation. So the first you have mutation. So mutation, you have two types, which can be either gene mutation or chromosomal. The next cause of variation is crossing over. Now, crossing over is a process that allows the exchange of genetic material between homologous chromosomes and that occurs in prophase 1 of meiosis 1. The next cause of variation is independent assortment. Now, independent assortment is the different arrangement that each chromosome can have during metaphase 1 of meiosis 1 as well. Last but not least, the final cause of variation can be due to random fertilization. Now for this, I would assume the context of sperm and egg. Because we have a lot of sperm cells and females have a lot of egg cells. So there's a lot of chances that different combination can occur. So that gives rise to variation. Let's talk about continuous variation now. So as you can see, continuous variation, it shows a lot of intermediates. And in this case, it can be represented using a bell curve. Continuous variation, um, the characteristics are affected by many genes or many alleles. And it's also influenced by environmental factors. So examples of continuous variation would include, for example, mass, or height because as we know that there's a lot of different masses and different heights in the entire population and what you eat or what you do in your daily life can affect both of them now let's move on to discontinuous variation so um, in contrast to continuous variation there's usually no intermediate between the characteristics, which means they show very clear differences. And they are usually affected by only one or a few genes. And they cannot be influenced by environmental factors. So some examples of characteristics which are discontinuous variation would be eye color. Now, eye color, obviously you cannot change your natural eye color. Contact lenses is um, artificial, so we don't include that. Now, the next one is 
blood group. Your blood group will never change, no matter what you do. And last but not least, the ability to roll your tongue. A lot of people I know actually have the ability, but some of them don't. So this is an example of this continuous variation. Because, like I said, there's no intermediate. There's no, you can roll your tongue halfway. So that's all for the topic of variation.